defense was really good um, both halves. Um, we never we never let down defense. Um, our pick and roll coverages against their side pick and roll package was outstanding. And that's a big difference that we've made. We, we've continued to improve. Like last night in, against Memphis, Memphis shot 37%. You know, and um, I can't remember how many points they had, 92 or 93, something like that. But, um, you know, we're still not shooting as well as we need to. But um, we, we put a greater emphasis tonight on converting defensive rebounds and conversion from defense to offense. Uh, and score in transition, playing faster, uh, moving the ball. You know, you, you could tell that uh, we were better tonight at moving the ball. Early in the game, I thought we were almost unselfish to a fault. But I'd rather err on that side this early in the season than the other side. So, saw a lot of improvement tonight. Again, we didn't shoot it well, but I, I, I saw improvement. And that's, that's, that's good for these young kids to see. Because you defended well, did that sort of ease the pressure and then that helped on the other end, even though shots weren't going. They seem very loose and kind of. Yeah. Well, during all the timeouts and in, in our huddles, you know, we, um, you know, we have someone that charts our pick and roll coverages, our percentages. And I was constantly asking uh, Greg Buckner, who does it, I said, Buck, what's what's the, our percentage on side pick and rolls? And, and, and we were taking pride in that. They enjoy hearing that, that kind of feedback. We're, um, you know, we're 90% on side pick and rolls, we're 80% on mid pick and rolls. Uh, I think we were 75% on uh, shot challenges. So, you know, our guys are starting to take pride in their defense now. I mean, we, we have a tremendous defensive rebounder in um, uh, Omer. You know, he's, he's a, when the other team shoots and misses, it's, it's, it's nice to know you got someone out somewhere there who's got a chance to get the other team's missed shots. Coach, what was the decision made to play the three rookies who we haven't seen play all, all regular season so far? When, when was the decision made? Yeah. Right before I put them in. Was that something you had discussed after the loss last night? Was that already in the plans? Uh, no, I hadn't talked to Kevin about it. Um, but, um, you know, one of the things that I'm always on Patrick about is he has to rebound better. You know, some, at some point you have to earn the right to stay on the floor. You know, we all have responsibilities. You know, and, and um, you know, last night I didn't think we defensive rebounded as well as we should. I wanted to see if Terrence could. How significant is the weakness for you guys tonight? Well, that's important when you know they're you're always leery of a wounded animal. You know, and Detroit was wounded, and they needed this one desperately, and we did too. Um, um, but I like our energy we played with, you know, especially, um, I thought the second unit came in and, and really close to this. Tony Douglas played well, Marcus Morris was uh, outstanding, uh, Greg Smith, um, Carlos is always steady. Um, so our second unit kind of jolted us, and then uh, it's nice to see James knock down a couple threes. But um, this, is, this is a big win. I mean, we're three and three, <laughs> but uh, you never say should have. But we certainly could have won the Portland game, you know, and um, and then we certainly could have won the um, Denver game. And then last night, the two two something to go in the game, it was 87, 85. So it's not it's not like we're a long way away. You know, we're we're right there. I and mean, you could make a case that we could be six and up. So, but we're three and three. But I think we're a better team today than we were this time last week. And this time of year, it's important to evaluate yourself. Up. You talked about Omer's rebounding, but not, how important is it going to be for the guards to keep giving them opportunities to score in the rim and maybe keep that confidence either up or down? Oh, I <laughs> when, o, when O starts going into his, um, I'm not sure how to describe O's post game. You know, a Russian gymnast comes to mind. You know, he's, he never he never shoots on the same side he catches. If you guys notice, he always. You know, he's got that swooping crane thing to the other side of the other side of the rim. Um, you know, we've we've come up with this grand idea that maybe O should dunk everything around the rim. You know, that hasn't uh, sunk in yet. But the good thing is he's making his free throws. You know, and um, I think last year he was a 42 percent, 44 percent. 
Peter Chandler, one or the other, was 42 and 44. But I was, knock on wood, he's really worked hard at that. We'll keep giving him, giving him the ball there. But I oh, understand that if he really wants it there, he's got to go get missed shots. You know, we, we, I mean, we're not going to have a steady diet and throw the ball to the post. But uh, he gets enough offensive rebounds that he can um, get to where he finish those. For you, was it, it's been some five years since you were a head coach in the game, was it kind of strange? Why coach ever did practice? <laughs> we have it, we have it or but, but games. During a game? No. no. Um, a little bit at first, maybe. First time I walked out of the game without a notebook in my hand for a while. Usually I don't have a notebook. But, um, you know, I kept tonight in perspective. I kept thinking of Kevin and his family and what he's going through. You know, that's something far more important than in coaching a game for the first time in five years. Was there a conscious effort to ease the minutes on Jeremy tonight? Came out a little earlier in the first and seemed to be lower on minutes throughout the game. Um, you know, Tony didn't play last night. And I thought that Will Bynum, uh, the backup point guard for Detroit, <clears throat> I thought was a better matchup for, uh, for Tony because Tony probably, uh, in our, the way we want to play with pace, Tony naturally gets the ball up faster than Jeremy. <clears throat> I think Jeremy's a better half-court uh, point guard than Tony, but Tony's speed matches Bynum's speed. I, I don't know that I was worried about Jeremy's minutes as much as I like that matchup. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.